guys, welcome back. So today I decided I wanted to play around in some glitter and create a pretty bold look. So I wanted to just do this quick voiceover. I am starting off with my eyebrows and I'm using my e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Gel and this is in the color Espresso. So I'm just using it to fill in my eyebrows. Next, I'm going to go ahead and clean them up with this Wet n Wild Concealer. And I'm using the color Dark Cocoa today because it's very close to my skin tone and I want it to just blend in with the skin around my eyebrows. So I'm using that to clean up above and below my eyebrows. Now to set my eyelids, I'm going to go ahead and use my MAC soft ochre paint pot you guys know I love this stuff so I'm just gonna take a brush and actually brush this on my lid today because I want a nice even coat of this paint pot and I'm going to set this paint pot today and I'm going to use my elf HD powder it's just a translucent powder, but I'm using that to set that paint pot on my lid before I get started. Now the palette that I decided to use today is my Ace Beauty Blossom Passion Palette. And the first color I'm going into is Carnation. It's a very, very pretty shade. Kind of light, not too, too bold. I'm just gently building that up on the upper portion of my eyelid. Because I want to use this as a nice transition shade just to kind of blend into the really bold red shade that I want to put on my lid. Now the main color that I'm going to use today is this bold red which is the color Red Rose and I'm just placing that in my crease making sure to blend it into that first shade nicely and I'm just gently building it up I don't want to pack it on because I want to make sure that I can blend the edges out easily so that's what I'm doing making sure that the outer corners of my eyelid are nice and boldly pigmented as well Now, since this red is so bold, I wanna take some of it off of my lid so that it doesn't show through my glitter. So I'm just using some micellar water and a Q-tip to gently remove some of that red eyeshadow before I place my white base down. I know it looks crazy, you guys, but <laughs> it'll come together in the end, I promise. So for my white base today, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is just the white one and I'm placing that in that empty space so that I can have a nice bright white base for my glitter. Now I wasn't that happy with this LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, I've used it a few times now trying to get a nice white base and I never like it. It's always patchy and it just doesn't seem to blend out well or create a nice solid base. So I'm gonna have to use something else. If anyone has some suggestions for me, please let me know. Maybe P. Louise or something has a nice white base I can use, but I'm not really liking this LA Girl White Pro Conceal. So I'm using one of my sample glitter glues from Too Faced. It's just a little sample that I received. And I'm using that to place that on my lid before I go in with my glitter, of course, because I want to make sure that it sticks as much as possible. And the first glitter I'm using is the silver shade. And most of the glitters that I have are from Glitter My World. <laughs> Glittermyworld.com. I don't know. I think it's another brand, but I can't think of it right now. But this one is called Slinky Silver. And I'm just placing that on the inner portion of my lid, making sure to dust away and wipe away all the excess glitter that I can because I don't want to have a lot of glitter under my foundation when I do my base. 
and I want to keep it from getting into my eyes as much as possible so I did clean up the glitter on my face as I worked now I'm also going in with some red glitter today and this glitter is called runway red it's a really really pretty just bold red glitter and I'm placing that right next to that silver glitter and I'm also going to just gently layer it over the edge of that silver glitter so that I get a little bit of a blend I know they're not gonna blend completely but I don't want it to be such a defined line in between the two different shades of glitter so I'm just carefully placing that on that cut crease now I want to go into the dark shade seduction and I'm just placing on that on that third portion of that cut crease just making sure to deepen that outer corner you can't really blend it into the glitter so I'm coming right up against that glitter just to get it as close as possible blending it nicely into that red shade I'm using my wet n wild liquid eyeliner today and this is just my matte black liquid eyeliner and I'm doing a pretty bold eyeliner or wing today I don't wear false lashes so I want to create a little bit of you know just that look of a wing and to help out my lashes with also creating that dark shadow so I went ahead and finished my complexion offline you guys and just in case you're curious I did use my NYX can't stop won't stop foundation today now I'm going back in with red rose and I'm just smoking out my lower lash line I went a little ham or a little heavy handed <laughs> with this red today, but I wasn't scared you guys. I wanted it to be nice and bold. So I'm going back into that shade Seduction and I'm just making my lower lash line a little bit deeper, adding a little bit of depth there. And to create even more depth, I'm going to go ahead and use my black pencil eyeliner and I'm going to place that on my lower lash line. Now fam, for mascara today, I am using my Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I love this stuff, you guys. I keep trying different mascaras, but I always come back to this one. So I'm using this one today on both my upper and lower lashes. Now for my lips, I'm just going in actually with my black lip liner, placing that around the edges of my lips and blending it out gently. And I'm going to use one of my LA Girl Matte Lipsticks today and this one is a bold red shade. I love, love, love this lipstick. It's very, very pretty. The name on this lipstick is Gossip. So this is the final look you guys um, I've really really been wanting to play with my glitter so it was a lot of fun I was really excited to do it I kind of shy away from the glitter because it can get very messy and it can get a little bit dangerous <laughs> if it gets in your eyes so I was extremely careful today and I am very very happy with the way that this look came out so you guys let me know down below if you like this look if you do give me a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Doodles.